How do I get around town? Well, let me show you. Welcome to Wheelie Sloth. Hey guys, it's uh, John Mitchell from Wheelie Sloth. And uh, today we're going to kind of go around and go see how I travel around town. As you all know, I don't have a van right now that works. So if I go anywhere, it's either on the bus or I got to ride the wheelchair to wherever I go. So come join me on a ride today and let's go have some fun. So this is how I get around the city. I'm actually heading home from Walmart right now. And uh, I drive in the street because the sidewalks aren't always exactly flat. Uh, and there's nothing worse than going down a sidewalk and having there be a, uh, a crack in the sidewalk that makes you drop four or five inches. You know, I don't like that. And so I prefer to drive in the street. And this is, this is Caldwell Boulevard. And Caldwell Boulevard um, is our main, uh, our main drag street, our, our main streets here. And from my house to Walmart is a little bit over a mile. And I just left the Walmart a uh, few minutes ago. But uh, I actually right in the um, I actually ride in the bike lane, and uh, it's not too bad. So what I need to do also is show you uh, like some of the side roads I have to go down, which are still main roads, but there is absolutely no sidewalk. And you're stuck um, hugging the, the edge of the road and hoping that you don't get run off the road because there's idiots out there. So I'll show you what that's like here in a little bit. But at least right now, uh, you get a little bit of a view of Caldwell Boulevard. Caldwell Boulevard, sorry. So I'm going to go ahead and pause and... Uh, Bring it back up here in a minute. Okay, so now we're getting close to my apartments. I live in those apartments across the street. I'm still going down the boulevard, uh, Caldwell Boulevard. And so what I do, there's two things I can do. I can either just jump on over to the left-hand turn lane, or I can go to this other turn out and then wait until the roads are clear and I can cross the street which is what I'll probably do instead because um, as you can tell the roads are kind of busy today so alright I'm almost there to the turn out So that side looks pretty clear, and that side's getting clear, so that side is, and we take off. And then I come on down into my uh, apartment complex area. It is such a lovely day outside. There's a little bit of wind, but it is so beautiful outside right now. And uh, I'm almost, I'm almost home. Yep, there's probably about four, almost 500 apartments 
for this complex. That would be my guess. I kind of did a count about six months ago. And uh, 400 seemed about right. Alright, we have pool on that side. More apartments on this side. Got the mailboxes right here. We're not going to the mailboxes. Have to tell everyone, go to the the white fence. And on the other side of that white fence is usually a train. So we're almost to our house. There's our two vehicles I just went between. And There you go. That's how we get home. Uh, right now we're coming up on Middleton Road. And yes, I am on the wrong side of the street. But you kind of have to be on this thing. Um, uh, this is about a half mile from my house. And I want to show you what, when you're not on Caldwell Boulevard, what all the other main roads look like. And this is just an example. I'm not going to go up and down every road in the state of Idaho. But I'm going to show you what you guys have to do. You either got to man up or, or stay home. And uh, I figured man up is a lot easier than staying home. Okay. So we're coming across. So to go across the boulevard and you turn oh, right in the wind. Okay. Welcome to Middleton Road where there's no sidewalks. I have learned to literally straddle this white line or right on it either way until you know until you go forever. So um, I'm just gonna take you a little ways down here and then make a U-turn and go back. I don't feel like going crazy today, so there's a little turn in up here and I'm gonna turn on that one. Because oh. they're only on one way each side, they gotta wait for uh, me to get to an area where there's no other cars so they can go around me. And uh Alright, here comes some more cars. Yeah. And this is how I travel, guys. Yes, I know. Why do I do it? Because I kind of got to. So I'm going to turn around here and hit me away. So, of course there's a lot of cars that way. See if I can make the turn across the street for a second. Now, technically, I should go down the wrong side of the street, but um, we're gonna go this way. Okay. 
So now we're heading back down the opposite way on, on um, Milton Road. Now, whenever I want to go to church or go to my kid's school, I actually go the, go the other direction on Middleton Road for about a mile and a half or so, to two miles. Uh, it depends on where I want to go. But if you think this is scary here, I got more for you. So I'll just keep on talking as long as I can. Okay. So we're still at Middleton Road on a crossing over now. Now this is what it's like to go down Middleton Road in a wheelchair. And this is not the safest thing in the world to do. Again, you're hugging the side of the road. Road's not flat. People still try to get around you. And I'll go down a little ways and make a U turn again, also. And yes, if I wanted to reach out, I could actually touch the cars. But again, this is what I go through to get around this area. Of course, you know, what I want to show you how bad it is, no cars come by. Oh, wait, there's a truck. All right. Yeah, of course. Not many cars. Normally this road right here is jam-packed. And the one time I want to shoot a video, the road is almost empty. What are the chances of that happening? So I'm almost to where I want to turn. And now, and now you can kind of start seeing the cars go around me. Yeah, not exactly safe. But there are no sidewalks. So you either drive in the street or you uh stay at home and I refuse to stay at home so got one more block and I'll be making a right hand turn so I'm almost there no sorry Bob And I do not apologize to anyone. This is what I have to do. If the city would be smart and put in sidewalks, instead of making us travel on the, travel on the streets, you might get more people out of the house. Imagine walking down this, and I'm doing this in a wheelchair. All right, people. I uh, just want to let you know that I'm back at my apartment, and I hope you enjoyed going out with me today to go check out how I get around town. Um, I know it's not the easiest because I'm uh, out there uh, on the chair, and uh, uh, I'd rather be you know, in a car driving around, but that's not going to happen right now. So here's what I want you to do. Like, comment, share, subscribe, do all the crap. And today, I remember to do something nice for someone else because you never know what they're going to go through today. 
until I talk to you again, have a wonderful day, and bye-bye.